Can't tell if she's floating or sinking. I thought I was gonna hit you for sure. <laughs> it has been a really long time, like way too long, and I'm sorry. I know we say that every itty bitty video, but as you can tell, the boat's in a different location, much different location. But before we get in all that good stuff, today's video is brought to you by Ingwe. That makes some pretty sick bikes. The Ingwe X24 comes with a dual battery system which means it can go 149 miles on the pedal assist electric mode one. It can also go 54 miles all electric mode five. You might be wondering about speed. Well, she tops out at a mean 31 miles an hour. Hello, good sir. Does your car have an extended warranty? <laughs> you might be wondering, how's this thing so powerful? Well, that's because it functions off a 1200 watt peak brushless motor. It means it can climb up steep slopes real steep in the concrete jungle, neighborhoods, or even off-road. I haven't had this much fun filming a brand deal in my entire life. Not gonna lie, for an e-bike, she is quick. Oh my gosh, dude. I really like this thing. The X24 comes with triple shocks. We got the front hydraulic shocks, the middle mechanic shocks, and the rear air shocks. That's three times the amount of shocks as a normal e-bike. Oh. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> so many shocks on here, dude. Yeah, that's so dumb. We're, I'll just, look at that. Shocks on shocks on shocks on shocks. It really does absorb a lot of blows. I'm 250 pounds on a good day. Also comes with all-terrain 24 by four inch fat tires, which is basically a one piece wheel that combines spoke and frame, helps you fight compression and get through some tough terrain. So click on my link in the description for early bird pricing. That's $100 off Ingway's X series products. You can get the X20 e-bike for $15.99, the X24 for $17.99, and the X26 for $18.99. Also, when you use my link to sign up, you can get a chance to win a 100-piece gift set. That is a chance to win the X20, X24, X26, and a waterproof bike rack bag. But before we get crazy, before this thing sees water for the first time in 10 years, two years of owning this beautiful boat, still not registered, or insured, that's besides the point. It has never seen water. I've never put it in the water. I've been scared that there was fiberglass issues in the bottom of the hole. I've been scared that some of the new attachments, the swim deck, the new motor, there's so many holes that we drilled all the way through the transom, like 20. I poured so much sealant in there. I overdid it. We put bulky washers on there and then we sealed it again just because we put so much work in the transom. Even if there's a little drip and it's just getting water constantly, that thing rotted out it would suck tremendously so the game plan for today's video we need to frame the front walls on both sides the front of the boat and the roof and hopefully put in the front platform that we've been planning a little bit so we have a little bit of the interior that's going to go into and it just goes into all the fun stuff you know putting a lift on the old girl and a freaking muffler if you know what i'm saying god it would suck so bad if this thing sunk if this thing sinks after two years me pouring everything into it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is me and Sean's new workspace. It is two 10 by 20 foot car ports we put together from Harbor Freight. For $300, this is pretty good. Yeah. Work in the rain, work in the heat. The one thing about these projects, wasp. Any project that just likes to sit in the yard just always brings demons. The worst of wasp and dirty daubers. Oh, that one just, never seen a wasp poop before. I'm invading your privacy. Dude, this is kind of cool. They're all waving their butt in the air for me. I think that means they like me. 
My granddad taught me a old trick when I was a young man, before I got to be the man of wisdom that I am today. Fill a bunch of water and soap up, splash it on there, kills them. All right, I'm gonna be very quick. This could be dumb. It was dumb, it was dumb. Run, 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 run. We got two of them. God, they're still there, dude. All right, all right, all right. Good lord. That one had like built-in subwoofers. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Sean, we have a soggy boat. It's been the biggest battle of these backyard challenges. Rain, man. Especially somewhere in the south, it just pours. I don't know if you guys can see through here. The inside shows it a lot better. Very bendy. It is not very straight. The fiberglass has nothing to hold it up. There's weight on top. So we need to lift the roof and build a template so that we can build a frame that actually lasts in this boat and does its job. We're doing a beefier frame this time too. The first frame tiny man i would say we got the wall pretty dang close she's jacked almost punched the two by four through the ceiling which would have sucked so for our template we're cutting super thin sheets of ply into two inch strips and take it in the boat get everything set up just how we want the frame to look and we'll come out here and know our exact cuts so we don't waste any of our good wood We're moving on. We are cut <coughs> We're cutting this thin plywood right now to make them so that we can put in a frame that actually fits the boat. We've tried to reframe this before. It's a very funky, funky interior to cut a frame to. Man, there's a lot of body odor in here right now, you know? Oh yeah. We're all smoking. Here. Turn to me for a minute, I need to hold this down. One of you. This has been the biggest pain in the rear of the entire build of the Itty Bitty. That's just part of doing backyard projects. There's storms, just walls of rain, and they're moving quick. Rain's right there. We probably got not very long at all. Ooh. Wind and torques, man. Wind and torques. Hold on! If it goes over, just jump high as you can. Too young. <laughs> Come here, girl. Don't go anywhere, girl. We got a bright future together. The thing that makes me the most nervous is there's this pole right here. If this tent goes anywhere, I haven't even used this motor yet. It has begun to drizzle, which is not very good when you're working with fiberglass. And honestly, this is a huge problem and why we're not able to post many videos, because this pretty much happens every day in Florida. Nice and humid. Template is still together. It's a good feeling. We'll run some verticals, just like we did this side. Start over here, template this bad boy out. Woo! Hey, buddy. Feel like plywood, if you hold a sheet of plywood up by the corners, she naturally, yeah, if I'm a sheet of plywood, she goes, and they put two by four on her. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta get her to go from two. 
almost just ruined my underwear. Kind of brought me back to elementary school when you just put glue all over your hands so you can pick it off while the teacher's teaching. Then you just grab a bag of Sharpies and go to town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Templates have been made. We just spent about an hour cutting three quarter inch sheets down to three inch portions to match our template. About to try to pull these templates through the big back window. Yes, sir. Yeah. Gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. I really <laughs> Stop. Out of one. Over the last six months, and especially over the last couple days, we completed the frame in the yard, but we found the roof needs to be touched up. The front wall needs a new frame on it. We have to build platforms. There's so many different steps to this boat that when we really got to get a good look at it, I just felt like it would be kind of messed up to leave this entire project on Sean. And we come down here, we work as much as we can and we just don't get that much done you come down and you work and you work and work and the progress is just so little and it's so frustrating the weather tools are getting ruined in the rain and just the continual problems that keep coming from the one and only itty bitty so we made the executive decision we're gonna get the frame in today we're not gonna bond it we're just gonna clamp it up against the wall something me and sean have been talking about get the boat back to home and then we're gonna start working on it where we can get more updates to you beautiful people at home and we can also get more progress done in the grunt work and get out there really sweat, you know, shed some water weight. Might be good for us. Thank you, sir. Oh, yep. Hercules, Hercules. Unfortunately, we're headed home. I have a couple shops that I could bring it to. We got some plans. We got some possibilities. But it's back to Georgia. We gotta stay at the house for two to three days and see where we can store this thing next. Oh. God, get off me. Ah, oh, so many bugs. So many bugs. Oh. Good Lord Almighty. I'm gonna try to cover the birch up. Everything else is in containers. Dang it! Remain calm. Remain calm.
Oh, that definitely sucks. That's bad. Hey, babe. Hey, do you, do you have any towels? So before we can put the boat into a secure shop where we pour more ridiculous amounts of money into a project that probably doesn't deserve this much cash, we need to float test the itty bitty. Okay, now the plan's simple. We have a boat ramp that not that many people go to. We're gonna dip the boat into the water, keep the boat on top of the trailer, and hopefully she floats. And if she doesn't, we can just do some fiberglass work and figure it out. I think it's a lot of wind, so hopefully that's not an issue. So as Sean was tackling the project, we said this a hundred times, we ran into problem after problem after problem, and then we got to the summertime in Florida and the weather just went. Oh no, summertime in Florida are hurricanes. Like if you're the itty bitty, stay right there. Oh man. And then like you're just chilling in the springtime and then summertime. Oh, oh. Just really aggressive rain. A lot. Over and over boom, and over. Boom, boom, boom. I pound on the roof in. Yes. But before we move towards putting the interior in the old girl, I don't want to do this all and then have a leak. If she floats, we're good. We take it to the shop by the end of this video, show you where it's going, show you what we're doing to her. If it sinks, I guess. Database career is officially dead. Gravy, if you see anything, run for the hills. Run for the you hills. You stay safe. You're way you're you're worth way more than an old boat. So like run the opposite direction. Yes, sir. Just okay. don't even say a word, just leave. Just leave, okay. Okay. So just get my car and leave. Hey, I'll, 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 sure. Okay. All right. Make a laugh or something? Yeah, just make a laugh. Brother in law, he's backing me in. I'm gonna be keeping hand on the rope and we're just gonna have as many cameras going in case anything crazy happens hopefully she floats we're not gonna let her go too far past the trailer because if she does sink we'll just have her drop down on the trailer pull her out repair what's wrong sounds good in theory we got an immediate way to repair what's wrong immediately no oh gosh that makes me nervous my biggest fear is that swim deck on the back there's so many bolts going straight through there oh nice yeah All right, keep coming a little bit. I can't tell if she's floating or sinking. It's not good. It's floating back here. I don't hear any water going in the boat. Oh yeah. Oh, she's leaning hard right. Pretty positive that all the water in there is from rain all those bolts that you see across the back are not letting any water in which is huge oh dude yes how i look gravy looks kind of crazy do you like it yeah i like it i think she looks good I think she's ready to go i don't know if that's the case but i think we can go to the rv shop rv shop yeah <sighs> yes dude we laid so much glass i was so nervous Wow, okay. We drifted a little bit off the trailer. Pretty sure there's a swimming warning in this lake right now because Atlanta sewage leaked again. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's okay though, only a little bit got my mouth. Oh, that's amazing. Dude, that is so awesome. I knew she was gonna float, but there's always that chance. She is in the water. And holy smokes, does that look absurd. We have spent so much time on this old girl i'm nervous the further she gets away from the trailer but god that's so cool man she looks on there pretty good we had a custom trailer built because the way this thing sits we wanted to keep it street legal so we could travel the country with i know i haven't said that in forever kind of lost hope on the old girl a few times but we had to raise the bunks up so it could sit over the wheels so the boat rides really high and we also haven't trailered it yet so having to learn a little bit about the trailer she look good just pretty good i i feel like she looks good she looks sexy 
real good. Get you out there. Yeah. Get that tender going, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. A bumble, maybe a little bumble going. Maybe, maybe get like a little Christian mingle going. I mean, I've tried it out. No luck. Maybe a little tender game might be the move. Well, it's not. We can, we can talk about it later. Bumble? Bumble B? Golly. Shakes with where mama gave her, that's for sure. <laughs> you always talk about what a mama gave her, huh? Yeah. That's huge. Give me some, bro. I'm about to travel to concert, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot I had that on. Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, we are headed to the shop. The boat floats, perfect. No fiberglass damage, which I'm super stoked on. It only took a year and a half. And you might be wondering where we're going. Where are we gonna get out of the weather and what shop are we gonna commit the itty bitty to? Well, that's where we're headed right now. Probably the biggest step in the itty bitty history to date. Which brings us to Coach Craft by McDonald's, it's a local interior shop. So basically they just bring these massive Coach Crafts and super expensive motor homes to this place. They have guys that know how to pimp out the entire build. It's electrical, cabinets, plumbing, entertainment, anything you can think of that needs to go in a motor home. And I thought maybe they'd be interested in helping out with the itty bitty. I reached out to them. They ended up being interested. Long story short, the manager of this place is a subscriber and he had emailed me previously to do some work on the itty bitty. They're gonna let me work alongside them. And we got a guy named Jason in here who's a beast. Just a freak in the carpentry department. Sean helped us get so much of the framing and everything right. So now that Sean pushed through all those storms in his yard and prepped the boat, we got it in a shop, controlled environment got a crew of guys that are going to help us and we can come in here a little bit better working environment i think we'll get the boat done a lot faster gonna go ahead and roll the clip of us getting the boat here for the first time and then we'll show you how the boat looks today I think that's going to be our most expensive part. Yeah. I know. Especially these eyeball shape things like this. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm excited, man. He's getting, yeah. That's what we need. Okay. Right now, this is the only major job we got going. I did get approached this morning about a flooring job. What, what's the time frame that you're needing this back by? I mean, obviously the faster the better. Okay. So I understand there's probably gonna be things that we find as we go that we didn't know existed. Okay. The sooner we can get it on the water, I'm sure people yeah. will be pretty stoked. Oh yeah. Your um, front bilge pumps and stuff like that, they hooked up? Um, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> like, Sweet. Uh, So the boat has been here roughly a week, maybe a week and a half, and they've already put in a temporary setup so we could kind of see the game plan of the boat. I told them, hey, don't do any work until I'm here. I want to film it. I want to work. I want to sweat on this stuff. But the design of the boat that we've kind of been thinking up. So the original bathroom used to have a door coming out and it was more of a parallel wall. Now we've got a little slanted wall with the door facing diagonal. 
I'm a broad man, so I can squeeze through there. Easy. We're also gonna have our kitchenette right here. We're gonna have our fridge, our sink, everything we need for a full functioning kitchen. We're gonna have a fold out bed. I know this is a little bit different before the original itty bitty had a dinette with two booths, a table that would fold down. So now we have pretty much a futon, if you don't know boats well, because I definitely do know so much. can fit in this video. <laughs> this will fold out and you'll have pretty much a full queen bed, which will be awesome for six footers walking around here. The original boat had a closet back here. So it kind of closed this window off, didn't let the sunlight in, which I know we have 38 windows in the boat, but can't ever have enough vitamin D. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna build a cabinet up to here, have a little bit more storage, let that window come out, put a upper cabinet as well. Now, before you could work on all of your electrical in that closet, we're moving everything underneath the new front deck. We have a massive storage area, our water tanks, electrical circuits, everything that we need to reach is gonna be underneath here and we're gonna be able to have a lot more space to roll around and work on there. Instead of having stairs that go up and out of the boat, we have stairs that come up to the upper deck. We'll still have the captain's chair, the steering, everything in the same area. I have a little co-captain's chair for my main man gravy. And then also we'll have a little piece that makes this whole area a bed. So we'll have a queen, a twin, and we might put in another twin we haven't decided yet. But that's it. That is the new design. I think we'll be a lot more comfortable. We're going to be bent over a lot, but there's going to be more open area, which is what matters. So thank you guys for being patient with me. I know that these updates are like super spaced out. And it can be a little annoying. So appreciate you being patient. Itty bitty's moving along. Next update, I think stuff's going to start getting a little crazy. Love you guys. And what's crazy about this thing is it's also rated for like 330 pounds, which we're definitely doubling right now. Thank you for the ride. Yes, sir. That's what I'm here for. Can we get down? Can you can hop it. With the bike? Yeah, let's not do that. And that is why hydraulic braking is necessary. I got the worst red bugs and chiggers in Florida. Yeah, the chiggers here are insane. Yeah, my dad had to just put like nail polish all over my butt, man. That was a share.